Hey guys, thanks for stopping back at Skyview Drones. Today we're going to be using drone deploy in the agricultural field. By the end of this video, you guys are going to know how to analyze your corn and soybean fields using your drone. Let's go ahead and head into the house and get the software set up, and then after that we'll get to flying, and then at the end we'll analyze our final results. All right, we're back at the computer here, and we're going to start by heading to dronedeploy.com. If you guys don't have an account yet, you can click Try It For Free. They'll give you a 14-day trial. We already have an account, so we're going to go ahead and click on My Dashboard. On the left-hand side, you guys are going to see all the maps that uh, you've already done before. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click the plus sign here and click Plan a Map Flight. The location of where this pulls up on the map is going to be your closest cell tower that you're using to pull your internet off of. So we're going to go ahead and drag this up to the field that we're going to be flying today, which is right there, and drop it in the middle. This is a soybean field. So once you get into the center here, grab a nice square corner to drop the box in, and you're just going to start pulling these dots to kind of work the parameters of your field. Um, in this video, I'm just going to do it kind of quick to um, save time, but whenever you're doing this for your actual cell for your customer, you're going to want to take your time and make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies. Whenever you guys uh, process these images or this flight data, you guys are capable of cropping this out in the end. So it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of overlap. Um, the only reason that you wouldn't want overlap, I guess, is if there's somewhere that you don't want to fly over. Um, so if there's a house or something you want to make sure you're not flying over, um, that would be a situation. Um, so we've got that mapped out pretty good. You guys will see right here, it says start. That's where your drone is gonna um, start mapping this project at. In this particular location, we're taking off from this area right here. So that looks pretty good. Um, if you guys don't like that, I'm gonna show you how to change it. Let's take a few, uh, look at a few things here before we switch screens. Our flight time is gonna be two minutes, 31 seconds. Flying 33 acres. It's gonna take 191 images with one battery. Um, watch those numbers change a little bit. We're gonna change our flight altitude to 300. Um, and you're going to see it's going to take a few less photos and it's going to take not quite as long. I like flying at 300. I feel like it gives a much uh, more consistent photo and um, I, that's kind of what I recommend. I've, I found stitching issues with uh, the 246 number. Structure mode turned off. Live map mode turned off. Leave obstacle avoidance on. Check advanced features. Side lap. Front lap is going to be how much these pictures overlap. Flight direction. This is where you would change this number to change your start location. Or you can see right here, our flight plan is going to be going over top of that uh, person's property. So I am going to change this slightly until the flight plan is no longer flying on their property. And I would recommend doing this so we're not flying over other people's property whenever at all possible. Um, we have one little section here where we'll be flying over a different area, um, and that's just a field or uh, uh, woods, so that would be safe. It has moved our start point over here, um, so if you wanted to change that to get closer to where you're taking off from, um, you could change the starting waypoint right here, but we're going to leave it like that for now. We're going to go ahead and save our mission here in the bottom right-hand corner. Click the Save Mission button and then click back to planning. Take one last look at everything, make sure it looks okay. I like the way it looks. We'll go ahead and name our project here and we're gonna name that subscribe to our channel. We're gonna click save and click back on the dashboard. And you can see right here, there is our map. It is ready to go. It is loaded into the Drone Deploy app. Uh, if you click on it, it'll pull it up. Everything that we did is right there. Click back on the dashboard, and we're ready to go. It's ready to be flown. Uh, so we're going to go ahead on outside, connect to the drone, and I'm going to walk you guys through what exactly we do on the app on our phone uh, to get up into the air. 
Okay, we got the app up there, and you'll see our mission. It's going to pop up on the left-hand side. Go ahead and click on that, and that will go ahead and pull up our flight plan there. Just go ahead and uh, take a quick look through here, make sure everything looks right, make sure no settings have changed. Take a look at your map here, make sure nothing has changed with our map. If you guys are happy with how the things look there, go ahead and click on the blue button in the bottom right hand corner and that's going to go through all of our pre-flight checklist. Uh, permissions is making sure you're flying in a safe location that you can be flying in. The next one down is making sure the drone is okay. We're going to be checking on the camera, making sure the camera is okay, is our controller okay, and are we on the right flight plan. Happy everything there, go ahead and click the flash and blue button in the bottom right hand corner and our drone is going to take off. And we are heading out here, guys. The drones are going to go out and take a whole bunch of pictures. And uh, whenever we get done, uh, we're going to take all those pictures back into the computer and analyze them. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the flight here that lasted right around, uh, I think, about 10 to 12 minutes while we're flying. If you guys wouldn't mind clicking that subscribe button and giving this video a like, we'd greatly appreciate that. Be sure to also check out our other drone deploy videos. Uh, we we'll have uh, separate videos on how to export, how to share, and some other cool features in the drone deploy app. Okay, we got our SD card taken out of the drone, plugged into the computer, and we are back in the Drone Deploy app. As you can see now here on our map, subscribe to our channel. It has the option now to upload, so you guys are going to go ahead and click upload. And then it's going to say select fo photos right here. So find your folder that you got your photos in. Here's ours right here. As I mentioned, whenever we were flying out there, it takes a photo before it takes off, which is right here. So that's where I like to take a little uh, placard or a table, table marker or something and identify what field I'm on right here. Uh, kind of a way to help identify it. It takes that picture before it goes off every time. But we don't want to use that in this, um, in this software. It doesn't want to see those pictures. So we're going to skip over that press and hold select go to the last picture so we have all of our pictures there so we're going to go ahead and click and hold and we will go over to our drone deploy we're going to drop the 179 images in there you're going to see here that it's going to process initially all of the photos make sure it has what it wants to see go ahead and click on terrain and this was the, the spot, if you had any ground control points, you could enter those in right there. Um, ground control points are basically specific markers that you put out in your field where you log the coordinates, the absolute coordinates that you would take with a, like a hand device out in the field. Um, we don't have any of those. Uh, the advanced options here is where you can change the processing options. I'm going to leave that as uh, quality is the most important to us. So we're going to go ahead and click upload and it's going to go through and upload 179 images and it's going to stitch them together. I'm going to go ahead and speed things up a little bit through this process so you don't have to sit here and watch 179 photos upload. Um, so we'll reconvene here in just a little bit once those photos do get uploaded. Um, just want to touch on... Uh, one other thing real quick here, um, a lot of people ask, uh, you know, is this expensive software, is this free software, um, are the maps free, do you have to pay for the maps, and that is a very complicated uh, question that we get. Um, a, the software is not free, they do have a free version of the software where you only get ortho mosaic maps, which is basically what you're going to get from Google Images, but in real time. Um, all the features that you see us running today are done through the pro version uh, which is uh, last time I checked was about a thousand dollars a year um, so 
If you guys uh, live in northern Illinois uh, and you're wanting your fields red, uh, feel free to leave us a comment below and uh, we can definitely walk you through uh, getting your drone up in the air and getting these pictures taken or we can stop out and take them for you. I will leave my email address down in the description. Feel free to shoot me an email and we would be more than happy to help you out with any of your uh, agriculture needs or any type of troubleshooting problems you have. We can do our best to try to help you walk through those. So I'm going to go ahead and let the photos continue to load here. Uh, they're going to go into a uh, processing mode that's going to take about two or three hours. Okay guys, so our map has finished processing. You'll see now that the symbol looks uh, like this here. It says map. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at our features here. Go ahead and click on map there. And I'm going to go through just a few of the features real quick here. Uh, first off, you're going to see that we have a 2D map. And that's just an ortho mosaic view of your field. You can zoom in and zoom out. Kind of get an idea of what you, what you have going on. Um, just by looking at the ortho mosaic map, I can tell that we have an issue right here. We also have an issue right here. Looks like we have some issues going on right in here. The next thing that we can take a look at is the 3D model. That's going to take just a second to load here. Uh, 3D model is nice for kind of kind of just a different view of your field. Um, I haven't cropped out the trees yet. That's what you see right there. I'm going to show you guys how to do that before we leave today. But that kind of give you an idea of what your property looks like. The next thing that we are going to check out is plant health. And this is where they're using an RGB camera to get an NVDI picture. Um, so you can kind of see like uh, we had mentioned this was an issue right here. And you can see that's all red. Now you can play with the histogram over here a little bit to kind of uh, refine your map, kind of give you an idea of what it looks like whenever you adjust your histogram. So that kind of gives you an idea. If you drop that way back, you can kind of see, okay, hey, where are my worst, where are my worst issues at here? Um, the last thing we'll take a look at here is elevation. Um, I can't tell you what happened right here. Uh, looks like we had some type of interference with the elevation, uh, but uh, you can kind of get the general idea. Our high spot here is in the red, and as it goes into the yellow and into the blue, that's our low spot. And that's very consistent. The field starts off uh, from here to here, falls about 60 feet. Uh, so anyways, we're going to get into some of these other features. Um, just real quick here, location. You can drop a pin on your problem areas. Uh, let's go back to ortho mosaic. Uh, so we had talked about a problem right here. We can drop a pin on it. And it's going to pull us up four photos here. And uh, it's uh, going to give us kind of a better idea of what's going on. Distance. We can measure distance um, if we want to have a better idea of, um, hey, how long is this right here? We can click on the top and then click on the bottom. And that will give us our distance. So next we'll take a look at, oh, I'm sorry. It's still, uh, still got me dragging there. Okay, there we go. That's 279 feet. And then it gives you the slope and the elevation profile. That could be useful. Maybe that, that's an uh, indication of why we're having a problem there. Next thing we can look at is area. I'm going to go ahead and hit the trash bin, get rid of that. Click on the area tool. So let's say we want to uh, figure out, hey, you know, how much is this going to cost me? And uh, and by not having this planted, how many acres am I losing? Who wants to get out there and measure this by hand, right? So let's go ahead and uh, just click a box around there. And it's going to say, okay, this is 0.266 acres. All right, so that's the other feature. And then the volume feature is not something that uh, we use whenever we are. Um, not something that I use. So anyways, um, one other thing that I wanted to talk about briefly here, trying to keep this kind of as short as possible, um, is whenever we're dropping these pins, 
here. Uh, that's about the only way that you can pull up these four images of the specific location. Um, so I do get that question quite a bit. Uh, people say, well, how do I get, you know, specific images of that spot right there um, so I know where I'm looking at? Well, that's about the only way that I know how to do it is to go ahead and drop a pin on it. And then the nice thing about whenever you drop the pin on there too, let's say this picture right here, okay, this is the picture where I, uh, I want to walk out to this portion of the field. Uh, that's going to take a second to load, but you can take a look at the coordinates and enter that into a handheld GPS, walk right on out to it. So anyways, guys, those are the basic features of the uh, drone deploy software. Um, there are a few other things I'm going to do some uh, additional videos on, such as sharing and exporting your information. Uh, it's quite a bit more information, so I think I'm going to go ahead and separate that out into a separate video. But anyways, thanks for hanging in there, guys. I know this was a long uh, video, but there's a lot of information, and really, we've just kind of touched the surface on it. I mean, we, we've uh, only been doing an agriculture map. This, this software does so much more, and it does so much more with agriculture than what I've shown you, too. But this will get you up in the air and get a look at your field, get you to have a better idea of what you have going on out there. And like I said before, guys, we do offer this service. Um, so if you're uh, wanting your field read, Go ahead and send me an email. I'll uh, drop my email down in the description in this video and be more than happy to come out and help you out. Or if uh, you have the software yourself and want me to stop out and give you a hand getting you, getting you going, I'd be more than happy to do that too. Uh, so anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, click, click the subscribe button and uh, also give us a thumbs up and drop a comment below. All those uh, three things help us out and keep us going on this channel. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.